In this video, I'll be showing how to make a single string guitar using only a plastic bottle, a piece of pipe, and a string. You'll be surprised how many songs can be played on such a simple instrument. You don't need any tools to build this guitar, but you will need to learn how to tie several knots. This may be a challenge for some of you, but I've chosen to use knots that are some of the most useful in the world, not only for building guitars, but for any project that involves rope. Learn to build this guitar, and it will pay off next time you have to tie down your furniture in a move, or hang a tarp over a campsite. These are the parts needed to build this guitar. A two-liter bottle a piece of pipe or wooden dowel that fits inside the bottle and is 3 feet or 90 centimeters long, and a piece of string about 3 times longer than the pipe. To hold the string, a groove is filed into the end of the pipe. This can be done without tools by using a sharp corner on a stone or cement stairs. And with that one insurmountable task completed, the body of this guitar is finished. All we have to do is string it up. This requires learning two, or maybe three, different knots, depending on what version of this guitar you would like to make. First, I loop the string around the bottom of the bottle, and tie a knot that will rest about halfway up the side. I'm using a knot called a bowline, or bowline knot. To tie this knot, take the end of the string and hold it between two fingers, with your palm facing down. Then wrap your fingers over the other side of the string, so that you've formed a loop with your fingers in the center, and your palm now facing upwards. The end of the string that was between your fingers now passes under the other side of the string and back through the loop. Tighten this up, and now you know how to tie a bowline. It may take several tries to get this right. Don't be discouraged if you have to watch this part over and over again before you figure it out. This is how the front of the instrument should look if the string has been tied correctly with the knot resting just about halfway up the bottle. Now we get to the clever part. Instead of using a normal guitar tuner, the string loops over and around the back of the neck, all the way down to the bottle, and back upward where it's held with a sliding knot called a taut line hitch. This allows us to tension the string without any extra parts. Again, I'll show how this knot is tied using a larger rope so it's easier to see. The free end of the line is looped once, twice, then back over itself, underneath the other side of the line to create another loop and then back through the middle. It may take some practice, but you should end up with a knot that looks like this. When tension is applied to this knot, it doesn't slip, but we can move it by grabbing onto the knot itself and sliding it along the rope. This allows us to stretch and tighten the line, hence this knot's name, the taut line hitch. By tying this knot on the back of our guitar, we can grab onto it and pull the string tight. This gives us a way to tune the guitar with no extra parts. It works surprisingly well. With the string now under tension, we can slip the lid of the bottle under the bowlin knot in front, which will act as the guitar's bridge. Sometimes it sounds better if the cap is flipped upside down. You'll have to try it and see which way you prefer. And the guitar is finished. It can sound a little rough at first, but once you figure out how the bottle cap should be placed to get the best resonance, it sounds pretty good. Now because I'm using a fairly thick string, this sounds more like a bass guitar than a regular acoustic guitar. To make a brighter sounding instrument, you need a lighter string, like this one, which uses a nylon kite string. To make a guitar with a smaller string like this requires an extra step, because the taut line hitch that is used to tune the guitar doesn't work properly with a string this thin. So we tie the bowline knot with the kite string as usual on the front of the guitar, but on the back we use a different string, a thicker one, to tie the taut line hitch. The extra step is that we need to tie these two strings together, 
We do this with a third knot called a double sheet bend, which works particularly well to join two different size strings together. The first step is to bend the thicker string backwards like so. Then the thinner string is poked through the loop we've created and wrapped around it twice. We then pull a little bit of extra slack in the small string so that a new loop opens up and we can poke the end through so when everything is pulled tight, the two strings are locked together. Now we can have a little string on the front of the guitar to make a bright guitar sound, but a thick string in the back, which makes tuning the guitar much easier. Before I dig into some other ways these guitars can be modified, I'd like to talk about my sponsor for this video, Bespoke Post, an online outfitter for high quality items for everyday life and for the adventurer. Supplies are sold as individual items in their online store, but most notably in subscription boxes that offer their contents at a significant discount. Every month, there are multiple boxes to choose from, and if you don't like what they choose for you based on your preferences, you can swap to a different box for free, or skip the box entirely. I requested a box that contained a Hori Hori style digging knife, which is a great multi-purpose tool, and also an Audubon bird call, which is one of the most memorable items I had when I was a kid. These are a lot of fun. I also ordered an individual item, this Openel mushroom knife, just in time for morel season. Check out Bespoke Post through the link I've placed in the video description below. I think you'll like what you find. So now we have two versions of this guitar that are completed, and there are several more modifications that are possible. The first is to add frets, which allows you to play notes without remembering the exact finger position on the neck. This is very easy to do with zip ties, which can be slid up and down the neck to find positions where they make a correct note. Another improvement to this design is to lower the string height, also known as the action of the guitar. This is done by bending the neck. This does require one tool, a heat gun, to warm up the pipe just past the mouth of the bottle. You can do this with the string in place, if you're careful to keep it out of the heat. When the pipe is hot enough, it can be bent outward, so the string is closer to it over its whole length. This will make the instrument much easier to play. It's also possible to make much smaller instruments, like this one based on a 1 liter bottle. This is more similar perhaps to a plucked violin. I've just come up with this design in the past few weeks, so I'm sure there are many other ways to modify it to work with other materials. For example, I'd like to see a version that is just as easy to make, that can work with a cigar box as a resonator. Let me know in the comments if you build one of these guitars, and you can also send me video responses to the email address linked in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.